right, so I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, my predictions for Saturn and Capricorn. This is a two and a half year transit. Saturn goes through a sign in about two and a half years. And um, right now, he's already been there since uh, around the solstice, around December 19th or so, I think Saturn moved into Capricorn. So we're, uh, we're almost through the you know first half of a year of it, but <clears throat> I have some predictions for that. Saturn and Capricorn. Uh, this, when Saturn moves into its own sign, that's a big deal. And so we're going to find, you know, that there are going to be some major changes happening in the next two and a half years. And there are going to be a lot of good positive changes happening in the next two and a half years just because Saturn is in Capricorn. And it can provide such a strong foundation for so many other things to unfold. So one of the things that I think is going to happen and that I really, really, what I really hope is going to happen is that there's going to be some sort of a change to the uh, social media landscape. And, um, you know, I say landscape because Capricorn is the sign of Earth. It's an Earth sign, but it's changeable Earth, so changing Earth, moving. Um, so there's going to be a change to the a lot of landscapes, but... The social media landscape is um, kind of getting weird and out of hand. It just got created. It hasn't even been long enough. It hasn't been around long enough for a whole Saturn cycle of 30 years. And so I think great changes are going to occur to that in the next two and a half years. And I think we've already seen that starting with all this pressure, that all this heat on Mark Zuckerberg and how you know he was doing insider trading and how he sold off all these shares of Facebook and things. And you know I have to be on Facebook. I have to have an Ayurveda page, but once they, you know, like the first year of Facebook was the best year of it, you know, and it's only gotten worse and worse. And same with all these social media things. They all keep going the way of algorithms and which become a popularity contest and which only support people who already have power and already have popularity. But they don't support anyone small, like a small astrologer's Facebook. If you like their page... You have to go into a special settings and click default see in newsfeed first, or else you'll never see it again. They'll just ignore it unless that person pays the social media Facebook to boost their posts, which that even ends up being worse. You can read about that. You can you, you watch a YouTube video called Facebook Fraud if you need to know about that. I don't want to have to teach all that here, but I'm just saying that there's a, it's lost its democratic quality and it's lost its quality of equality. Back in 2011, Facebook had a lot to do with, uh, with helping free and helping, well, not, mm, I shouldn't say that. Uh, at that time, the uh, Facebook and social media was a positive tool. It was useful during the Arab Spring and during the Occupy Wall Street movement and during all these periods. Um, and Saturn was still exalted then, see if you remember. And then when Saturn left that place, then all these changes happened to Facebook and when Saturn was in Scorpio and then got worse and worse and it was in Sag and so forth. And now it's moved into Capricorn and uh, so things might, there might be a new one that pops up. Hopefully there is or maybe Facebook or these other ones will change their rules but I don't really see that happening. Um, I'm really hoping, hoping that someone new just creates a new one and that it can take off. There was actually one that was created uh, I think in 2014 and 2015, where every creator, every person actually could get paid for their content that they created. And it was, uh, it was a system that was actually working, but Facebook just shut it down. And all these big companies have so much power over media. So when I shared that link to that, that social media site, Facebook just didn't share it to anyone. So they just didn't show it because it was their competition. So there's been a lot of nasty things like that going on. And with... Um, with Saturn and Capricorn, something positive can happen for the underdogs, for like the common people. And so that's the power that these social media devices have. And that's what, you know, the elite are trying to manipulate and control through uh, changing them so much and changing Facebook and putting ads in every few posts. Or if you go on Instagram now, you see an ad every few pictures. And that wasn't the case. So I think more and more the collective consciousness is sort of waking up to this and realizing like, wow, like we are essentially the product that they're selling and we could just cut them out. So hopefully that happens and hopefully there will be more uh, systems that come out that will have more of a democratic, democratic quality, like how they always start. 
and that don't end up selling out to algorithms, which is to say like, um, you know, like my the Veda Facebook, it won't show a post unless 10 people or have already liked it in the first 10 minutes. And if they didn't do that, it's pretty much just a dead post. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it. Because if I pay money, Facebook will boost it and that will actually make it worse a lot of times because there are click farms, there are people who get paid in third world countries just to click like on stuff all day. So Facebook just pays a bunch of people that like a penny an hour to do that or something ridiculous. And so the next day you'll have like a thousand likes on your post if you do that, but it will, if you click on the actual people, they're either not real people, they're bots, or they're, you know, yeah, they're just not, um, it doesn't actually transfer to you getting out there to the people you want to reach. So... Um, and then they've also gotten a lot of trouble for censoring the news over the last two years um, and only only sharing trending news that supports the CEO's agendas like Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, has gotten in huge, well, not, not real trouble, he's fine, but people who are paying attention who have been, have been already calling him out about this a lot. So the other reason I say this is going to happen is because um, Saturn is in the 11th from Pisces and from my standpoint I've never read this in a book or anything but I've always felt that Pisces is the sign of the collective consciousness so the moon is the sign of the moon is the planet of the collective consciousness the masses we all know that no one disagrees in eastern or western systems the moon pulls the tide so it pulls people and so really popular people will have really good moons usually things like that so the sign that has to do with that is Pisces. And so I actually sometimes read these transits from Pisces um, to see how the collective consciousness will react to uh, these long-term transits. And from Pisces, Saturn's in the 11th. So it has to do with groups and society and how we network and how we connect everyone. Um, so again, that's why I think social media platforms will be shifting. From the standpoint of uh, astrologers and spiritual groups, there will be new groups forming. There will be new, um, in the astrology world, I, I expect to see a lot more coming together of, of new groups, new systems. Since I do tropical Vedic astrology, I am predicting that I'm going to come together with a lot more Western astrologers, and a lot more Western astrologers are going to come to Vedic astrology. And other. Um, another interesting point. So this is about air technology and uh, Saturn is the planet of the air element, and the Capricorn is the 10th sign. So from Aries, the natural lagna, Capricorn is the highest point in the sky. So it rules the sky and the space. And so in the old books, Jaimini says um, Capricorn has to do with things flying in the air. That's one of them. And it's a word that can mean birds, uh, like flying things, ships, or even like demons flying in the air. Um, and so my, my feelings were back in December when I first wrote this, um, there's going to be major changes to aviation and air flight. And I wrote a Facebook post about this before two major things happened before Elon Musk launched his SpaceX rocket successfully. So this already happened. You know what I mean? And I was saying that this would happen before that. And then, um, the other one was Boeing. Boeing has created these crazy planes that like go up vertically. There's going to be, there's already, Boeing has already put out a new flying ship and I actually saw it because there's a Boeing center here in Charleston and I saw three ships flying in the north part of my house on Saturday, the Saturday. And that was pretty interesting omen too since it was on Saturday. Um, and... Yeah, so anyways, there's going to be major changes in our aviation with fl things flying in the air. And we're going to go up into space more in the next two and a half years, a lot more, exponentially more. Because, and so Elon Musk is going to have a lot to do with that, SpaceX, that rocket and everything. Um, and then also UFO disclosures may occur. And UFOs will definitely be taken more seriously over the next two and a half years. So UFOs are actually, and that whole, that whole side of things is definitely going to come out more in the next two and a half years, if you ask me. Um, here's another interesting one. So I think Donald Trump is going to experience some health difficulties over the next two and a half years, but they may not be publicized. 
Um, but he will experience some health difficulties, but they won't kill him. But he's going to start to feel that. He, it probably won't become serious, though, until Saturn enters Pisces, which would be his eighth house. Um, so then there's also going to be, uh, in my opinion, I, I really think there's going to be new innovations of uh, new forms of life will be found under the sea. Or there will be a new, I think there will be new forms of life found under the sea. There will be some new system or new, even like new branches of science that deal with go deep sea, I don't know, exploration. But there's going to be some really interesting developments going on uh, with the sea. Um, and that's no doubt because of Jupiter giving manifesting strength in Scorpio um, and Rashi aspecting with Saturn. Um, during this next year. Um, and so here's another way that these things might all connect is that if we go, um, like we have satellites that are going near other planets, we have s s these rockets that are going to go more, we may find aquatic life on another planet in the next two and a half years. And we may find, um, like even on Saturn's moon, some sort of life acquire and this is like that's the thing is this may even connect to the physical planet saturn because that's something that people have been speculating on really strongly and almost want to say it now they almost want to say now that they're pretty sure that there are aquatic life forms on some of the moons of saturn but they're not 100 percent sure so i'm really curious if that's going to come out in the next two and a half years um or some new developments with that I think if we checked all the moons of Saturn and Jupiter, there's no way we wouldn't find aquatic life. And we must remember that Capricorn is the sign of aquatic animals. That's literally what Makara or Cap Capricorn means in Sanskrit. So the word Capricorn in Sanskrit literally means the water goer or the water animal or Jalachara, the water goer, is a, ner is a name for Capricorn. So like... Uh, I can just... I don't know. I have a feeling that we might see some microscopic little things that look like whales or, you know, little animal, little aquatic creatures. We might find some bigger creatures about, you know, little things swimming in the water on another planet. Um, and then I also think that uh, agriculture, like a lot of positive agricultural changes are going to occur permaculture and organic farming are going to continue to re take back their place in human life that they've always had and that they've always needed to have or we're going to get continue to you know um, push away a lot of the quote-unquote conventional farming even though it's actually not conventional and it's stuff we've only done for uh, half a decade and realize that it's killing us um and then when Saturn and K2 come together, um, like next year, 2019, I do think there could be some, 2019 and 2020, there could be some serious major economic issues going on. And there are some pretty powerful things going on during those eclipses, but I haven't studied them too much. And this is a very general kind of just forecasting. In case I don't get enough time to do anything over the next anymore over the next two and a half years, I can at least put this out there so that people can can hear it and think about it. But I think that in general, like um, like a new version of PayPal, a new version of Venmo, like the like a lot of these things, they just come up and pop away. They're like iTunes. Oh, the new version of iTunes. Why download it? It's, it's going to be obsolete the next time you click on iTunes and open it up. It's ridiculous, right? And I just I personally can't stand that about modern culture because I have Venus in Capricorn and I love things that stand the test of time like astrology. So I can't wait for some technology and things to come out that are going to stand the test of time and not need to be re-downloaded or new version is out every day, every time you turn it on. You know, that's ridiculous. Uh, just throw it away. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's, it's ridiculous, you know? Um, and so Capricorn, that Capricorn energy has really been needed in our culture and for people who are creators of devices and engineers and content creators. So over the next two and a half years, big picture is that they're going to be like finally getting the solid framework. You know, there's going to be a lot more solid foundations that get laid over the next two and a half years. Um, and then, of course, Mars is with Saturn right now at the time of this video. It is April 16th, 2018. 
and I think they're still in orb. And whenever they're in orb, there's always going to be with Mars and Saturn. There's always going to be like police brutality, shootings, war, a lot of unfair things happening, a lot of um, uh, injustices happening. And uh, we've seen some of that um, happening, but but Mars will will leave that soon. So that's not something that's going to happen for the next two and a half years. That's just something that I'm I've been seeing lately right now. Um, okay. What do you guys think about this? So, you know, because this is just general. I haven't done any mundane, like, official mundane astrology for the next year yet. Um, I haven't done the Varshapala or the mundane charts with the solar returns or any of that. This is just, um, you know, this is just speculating uh, with really just knowing what Saturn deals with and what Capricorn deals with and trying to throw in some of these um, other angles that maybe other people didn't see, like the things flying in the air, Jaminy angle. So tell me what you guys think. Um, yeah, so we will see.